Hi guys, this is David from Arzaman Engineering. In this video I would like to show you some enhancements, some improvements that I have implemented on top of the SmartPID controller. As you know, one of the best and most appreciated features now is the possibility to control remotely your devices and your process. Currently, this feature is implemented on top of uh, ThinkSpeed technology that is a public service. Indeed, it is a great service, but it is not so flexible to you know, allow me to develop uh, what I have in mind. So, I have changed a little bit the approach and now I am moving to a dedicated server and private server with a new technology called MQTT that is nowadays a standard for the IoT applications. Now I can show you uh, how it is powerful and flexible using the Smart Bid Barbecue controller application. It is an application in short that controls your pit, your food, a uh, lot of features and controls uh, a fan in order to control your charcoal barbecue. In, uh, here you see the controller connected to a couple of temperature sensors, a fan and on the right you have the native smartphone application, Android application. On the left uh, there is a, a tablet connected to the internet and a browser with a dashboard. So just a simple browser. You can use any mobile device, you can use your laptop or you can use your Android or even Apple and iOS devices. All three are connected to the server and now we can see how changing a parameter on a device will reflect on the uh, web browser and the application and vice versa. Let's start from the smart pit controller. You see temperature is 33, pit temperature 33, foot temperature 37, here yeah, we have exactly the same value and they are also on the dashboard you are 33 and 37. Fan speed is 40%, exactly 40% here and here also you see this nice widget with the, the fan speed. Let's for example change the parameter, we change fan speed, we are now in manual mode so we, I can change freely the fan speed. Let's go to 60, fan speed increases and here you see immediately on the website and also on the application side we have 60%. We can do vice versa. Let's go to the common tab. Let's change again the fan speed. We go back to 41%, just to save. 41, the speed is reduced, and now also the web browser is updated. So let's go, for example, here on the P temperature dashboard. Go again to the main screen. Let's suppose we change a, an alarm, the high threshold for the for the pit channel. Let's put 120. Here it is, 120 is updated. We go back and a few seconds. Here it is, 120 also. The pit alarm is updated. Let's do Last test, let's go there, let's suppose we change one, let's suppose we change the food threshold, let's go from 100 to, I don't know, 90, let's just test, this is done, 90, here we have 90, and again here the threshold for food has been updated tonight. So, as you can see, all three objects and devices are fully synchronous so are all connected to my MQTT server and any action is reported to all devices. This allows to do complex tasks, complex synchronization and very very powerful uh, application. You can notify events like here you see some alarms on the history alarm, I can clear one you can, if uh, we reach the threshold, is generate an alarm. On the native app, we have an alarm, and here we have on the web a pop-up that informs you. 
of what is happening on the market. This is the baseline. I will going to retrofit all the application, the home brewing and the smart thermostat with this new technology that allow me to do really very uh, effective dashboard and very powerful remote control. Hope you like it. It's a lot of development, a lot of effort. Please continue to support Smartpick project. Thank you for watching.